This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. What's up guys? We're going to talk about keyframes in this video. Keyframes are very useful in the world of video editing because they allow you to apply an effect, right? Rather, they allow, you, uh, they allow you to change an effect over the course of time. So, for example, say um, I have this clip clicked on and say I wanted to change the scale of that clip. So I wanted to zoom in to, say, 174 from 100. Okay, you get the point. Um, let's go back to 100. What if I wanted to change the scale over the course of time? So I wanted the clip to maybe start out at 100 scale and then gradually go over to 174 scale and zoom in. Well, what I do is I do that using keyframes. So I'm going to use this window right here. You see that this window right here, this uh, little tiny timeline right here, imitates the length of the clip. So it imitates this timeline only in regards to the actual length of the specific clip that we're clicked on. So see how the playhead moves from the end of the clip to the beginning of the clip. <clears throat> Just so you know the relation between these two timelines. Now, what I need to do is I need to activate my keyframes. So I need to do that by clicking on the stopwatch called toggle animation. Okay, then that's going to turn blue. So right now I have one keyframe at the very beginning of my clip. Now I'm going to proceed to create another keyframe maybe let's say halfway through the length of my clip you create keyframes right here you can add and remove keyframes by clicking this button I'm going to add a keyframe then I'm going to extend this to go to let's say it's a 172 <clears throat> so in between this keyframe and this keyframe my scale is going to grow from 100 to 172 let's see if that actually happens press play See? Awesome. Now, if I wanted to say delete this, if I wanted to delete this keyframe, go here and I delete it. Let's create another keyframe. Put it at the very end of the clip, and let's make the scale go <coughs> even smaller. Let's find it. Let's go to the end of this keyframe. Make the scale go down to 50. So from here to here, it's going to go from zero from 100. Down to 56. Now realize that keyframes can be applied to any effect. Not only scale, it can be applied to rotation, it could be ap applied to audio effects like volume. You can literally put any effect. Remember that you can literally apply it to any effect. Remember when we put blur? It's the same deal. You do toggle animation and then you set your keyframes for that specific effect. Thanks for watching.